Hello everyone. Um, today is quite exciting because I have um, another new permission. Um, I've wanted to go here for quite a while because of where it is. There's an old um, house, very old um, mansion house on the site. Uh, it's not all complete anymore. There's a, The Georgian part is left, but the, the, the bit prior to that has been demolished and replaced with something more modern. Um, there's an orchard, the fields sort of gently slope towards the house. Um, and I have permission for that, but some of the fields have cows in again, so I'm going to give them a wide berth, but, um, it'll be enough to keep me going with the back field. Uh, so I shall show you when I get there. It's a little trek up the hill. Well, that's me here at my permission. There's the orchard, or the old orchard. It's not anymore. And as you can see, it's pretty nice. Well, first two targets in this field have been musket balls. So I'd say that's a pretty good sign. Just had this big old piece of iron. It wasn't particularly deep. So I just had this little piece of lead. It's a quite a strange shape. <laughs> Don't quite know what that would have been used for. But anyway. On we go. Well, as you can see, it's really, 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 really pretty here. So whether I find anything or not, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it today. It's cooler in the shade as well. And that's the entrance. So I'm going to sort of concentrate around there for a while. And that was yet another uh, musket ball ringing in at 23. So I've just stumbled upon this and I don't know what it is. You can't really see on the video, but it's it's quite sort of neatly, neatly placed round stones. So it's at the sort of the end of the orchard. So I don't know what that is. That's it for now guys. I am absolutely boiling and my drink is in the car, my bottle of water. So I'm gonna have to call it a day because um, it's a bit of a hack, a hack, I'm not on a horse, a bit of a trek down um, to the car from here. But I'm definitely gonna come back as soon as I'm uh, able to. It's a really promising field, I think. Hi guys. Um, so it's day two on the same permission I was on yesterday. I had to cut yesterday short because it was so hot and my drink was in the car. Um, the midges are really bad tonight, so I've got smidge. Um, <laughs> I can still feel them buzzing around me trying to find a spot I've missed. Um, basically, I'm just going to pick up where I left off yesterday. Um, I'm going to do this little top part here because um, I found a, cop a, a copper hammered here yesterday and a load of musket balls just sort of further down the way. So, yeah. So, first target for today. I can see it's a coin looking like penny size. It's milled as opposed to the one I found yesterday, which was hammered. I think I will be able to see who that is once I've cleaned it up a little bit. Um, but I'll do that at home. But yeah, no penny. All right, on we go. I can't believe the difference in the weather from yesterday. The wind's really picking up now. I think it's going to rain any minute and I'm going to get drenched. Well, that's me finished uh, for today. I didn't find very much today. No musket balls, which is unusual because yesterday I got four of them. Um, I did find this just now. I didn't film it, but it's um, it looks like the end of a spoon or something or cutlery. So, um, yeah, just the milled penny and, and that really. And just massive pieces of iron that um, I sort of stopped digging as soon as I realised what it was. But, yeah. So I'll come back again and uh, spend more time. I didn't have much time this evening, but I'll see you next time. So this is my roundup. Uh, not much, but again, I wasn't out for a terribly long time. But yeah, um, looks like a pewter spoon handle with uh, that once had silver plate, uh, musket balls and a triangle piece of lead, an old penny from 1936 and this which i think is a copper hammered because it's so thin and it was next to this so the soil hasn't sort of made it like that